The overall goal of this method is to determine major nerve conduction properties on sciatic nerves of living mice. The mouse to be tested is placed on its stomach. Please take into consideration that you have to be familiar with the anatomy of the sciatic nerve, here indicated in blue. The sensing electrode, indicated in black, is installed at a position where the gastrocnemius muscle has its maximum diameter. The reference electrode, indicated in red, is just placed beneath the sensing electrode. Now, the point of distal stimulation has to be marked. We arbitrarily chose a defined and constant distance of 4 mm. The place of proximal stimulation is at a distance of 16 mm from the sensing electrode. This means that we have a gap of exactly 12 mm between the points of proximal and distal stimulation of the sciatic nerve. The stimulation, using a needle electrode, is subsequently performed firstly at the proximal stimulation site and afterwards at the position of distal stimulation. Hi, my name is Alexander Schulz. I work at the Leibniz Institute for Age Research in Jena, Germany, under the supervision of Dr. Helen Morrison. In collaboration with Professor Reinhard Bauer from the Institute of Molecular Cell Biology from Jena University Hospital, we established a method by which we are able to perform electrophysiological measurements on sciatic nerves of living mice. These recordings are a powerful tool used to characterize mouse models of neuromuscular diseases. So, let's get started. This is the equipment you would need to perform the measurements.